This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. We're in the yard. We're just doing some daily checks. Today, we are in G11, which is the other Euro 6, but well, we've got three Euro 6s actually. I believe I'm in this for a few more days, and then hopefully back in G16, we'll have to see. But yeah, we're just starting, we're just gonna do our walk around check now. Make sure uh, everything is okay with the truck. Check the load. We're fully loaded with wine. Like, you know, like box wine, where you, like, I guess you put a lever or something, I don't know. Uh, we're going to Audi first thing this morning, which is gonna be a south tip in Swindon. We're not gonna be there till seven, and it's, uh, well, we've got, got to get a move on, actually, because it's uh, 20 to seven now, pretty much. So yeah, we'll be leaving in a sec. We're just looking at the uh, the truck, make sure it's all okay, all the lights are on, as you can see. All is hokey-dory. Hokey-dory, is that a real word? <laughs> Anyway, let's jump in the truck, quickly do some paperwork, and then we'll, uh, we'll make a move. Okie dokie, we're just around the corner now, just about three minutes away. So yes, uh, this will, oh, that lorry's just, <laughs> there's a car there, mate. <laughs> um, this will be a self tip, uh, which means I will be backing onto a bay. Where are you going? You're going around me, aren't you? No, it means I'll be backing onto a bay and then um, getting inside the warehouse and using an electric pump truck and taking the lot out myself. We've got 30 pallets of, um, of like, it is wine, but it's in a box. Wine in a box, uh, 30 pallets. I think I worked it out yesterday. It's about 17,000 pounds worth. It's not like a lot of money, but it's, it's adequate. So like uh, something like 3,800 cases or something, and they go for like five pound a case pretty much. Something like that. So um, yeah, that's what we've got to do first thing this morning, tip that. Then we need to head over to Chep in Swindon, Blaygrove, uh, get loaded with pallets, and that's going somewhere in Wales, sort of near um, Abercavenny, Cavar, Cavar, Cavarin, Cavarin, That's it. <laughs> that sort of area, sort of uh, between Newport, Cardiff, sort of thing. So um, what, what we're doing from now, I don't know, but that's uh, that's what this afternoon's job is. Depends how long it takes, really. I think to get loaded from Chep because. Could be there for four hours just waiting to be loaded. Could be there for two hours, could be there for 20 minutes. We just, it's, it's a complete unknown with Chet. So, um, yeah. But let's, uh, let's get this delivered first. So the booking time is between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Uh, we're gonna be arriving at five past seven, pretty much. I've been to a few different Audis now, and uh, some of them, there's no security gate. You just go straight in, plonk it on a bay, uh, and then you go in and you speak to someone and then they tell you if that's the right bay or do you want to go on another bay? Uh, whereas this one in Swindon, there's a security bloke and uh, last time I come here, he gives, he gives you like a lanyard, which is a, a, uh, a card to get into the building and then he tells you what bay to go on, which is pretty good. Oh, there's a queue. <laughs> oh, there's a queue.
There we go. So I think that's three trucks in front, I think, waiting to go in. So we'll, uh, I'll wait here for a couple of minutes just to see if the trucks do move down or not. Uh, if they don't move down, then I'll walk on down and uh, see if I can get in because my booking time is, like I said, seven till 10. So we should be in, in theory, we should be allowed to go straight in, in theory. I can see there's bays available. So yeah, we'll put the high vis on anyway. And that will be needed. Are we, uh, are we moving forward? There's a guy walking, there's a guy walking up to the trucks. Morning mate, how you doing? Yeah mate, what are you up today? Uh, I got a load of wine. Wine is it? Yeah. It yeah, no worries mate, 7 till 10 or something it was booked in for. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine mate, just follow it down to the front. Yep. Yeah. Well you're the very first driver, we'll get you signed in then alright? Lovely, cheers mate. Right, he said, so he said, just follow it down. And when I'm the very first driver, um, he gets signed in. So yeah, there's a security hut there. So we get signed in first, uh, and then hopefully we can get on a bay. I don't think it's going to take too long by the looks of it. We'll see. As soon as the paperwork is done, then we can uh, head to Chef and get our next load. Right, we're done. I think I need to scan the door. There we go. Ugh. Yes, we're done. Bloody hell, it's slammed. Uh, half past eight. So uh, about an hour and a half. Right, let's get in the truck, start her up, build up some air, and crack on. Bloody hell, nine o'clock. We come straight in, right at the front. We're just waiting for someone to uh, tell us to go down there. We'll probably park up down there on the right-hand side, in front of that forklift. And then, um, yeah, they'll load me from one side. Hopefully, we won't be too long in here. It's very rare that you get in straight away. Um, there's normally a, there's a computer on the front desk as well. That's been turned off. So, I guess they're open anyway. There's, there's four lifters here, so. We'll just stay put for where we are, where we are right now. Oh, I think someone's coming over now. Yeah, lovely. Okay, we're loaded, continue. Yes, we want to check out. Yes. <laughs> uh, we'll have two copies, please. Print, print. Lovely. So I come out down there and say, so yeah, there we are. 
Uh, time, by the way, is... I don't want to wake up. Time is 9.28, so we've only been here for a few minutes. Where's my paper? There's one. There's two. Thank you very much. I'll jump back in the truck. Okay, so, yes, we're loaded. We've got our paperwork. We've got a delivery address. Cedar UK in Blackwood, NP122 EU. That is where we're going. Um, 390 pallets. How you doing, mate, you right? Yeah, 390 pallets. So, uh, quite a few. Let's take the high vis off and then we'll get crack a lag in. Need to get some fuel on the way as well, so. See you in a bit. Okay, we're about a mile and a half away. It's about five minutes. So we're nearly there. Yeah, we're going to a company called Cedar UK. I think that's how you say it. Uh, at first, it looked like quite a big place, like a big old warehouse. But when I looked earlier, oh, that sounds nice. When I looked earlier, it uh, doesn't look like there's an awful lot of space there. Okay, we want to turn right here. So this is uh, Houghton Park Industrial Estate. Houghton Park. That looks uh, like a tight right turn, so I'm going to take up both lanes. Just seen a sign for Seda UK, but I didn't see what it said. Oh, it just says uh, positions available. I didn't know where it was. It. I didn't know whether it was saying go in a different way or not. <laughs> Just says they've got some jobs going. There you go, jobs going at Cedar UK if anyone's interested. That's a Cedar trailer. Do they own all these warehouses then? I've got a funny feeling they own all of them. So I, I haven't got a clue what entrance I need. What does this say? Goods in and out. But brush, is that cedar? No, that's brush. The cedar, the cedar truck's all over. Cedar itself is well down here, but there's cedar trucks here on bays. Brushed. Trust well, trust well earned. Goods in woods up. Is that for us? I guess so. Cedar left. I think we're going left. That's steel solutions. Yeah, we're going left. <laughs> I got no idea if I go to the right place. I think I am. I'm going to the actual cedar warehouse. I don't care that the cedar trailers over there, because they could just be delivered to different people. This says cedar down here. Let's go. Slow humps and barriers. Cedar. Do we have a gatehouse? Looks like we do. Do I need, I think I need to see someone at gatehouse. All visitors, contracts, drivers must report to security. We'll do. Yellow match hot markings there, so we're gonna just wait here and we're gonna go and see them. He's a friendly chap. He's very friendly. Nice bloke on the gate. Oh. It'd help if I uh, press and hold the key for a bit longer. There we go. Right, he's given me a map of where to go. 
but it looks quite self-explanatory. Don't take the first right, you take the second right. Lovely, you said go all the way down to the bottom, past the way bridge, and then there should be someone waiting for me on the left, he said. Turn left and there should be someone waiting for me. That should be where we'd be tipping. Where you go. Excellent. I've got a feeling we'll be tipping here. We've got some brown pallets here. Some normal coloured ones there, wooden coloured. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be staying here. But we will wait and see. Hopefully someone will come up to me. Jesus Christ, I just had to honk my horn because he was going to hit that. I don't know how he didn't hit that. Wow. Okay, so these are the pallets. They're coming off the full load. 390 of them. He's just on the other side of the river and he's just plopping them there. So I can't see us being here that long. Maybe 20 minutes. 30 minutes tops. Yeah, it's gonna be rapid. Lovely doubly. Okay, that's one side nearly done. We've got three more lifts this side. Then we'll close this curtain up completely. Just found out that uh, from here we're going straight to Portbury Docks uh, near Bristol. Load up a slate for London. That's going to go there Monday. Oh, he's starting the other side now. Look, I can see him. <laughs> so we're loading this trailer up for slate for Monday for uh, for London. However. One of my colleagues has taken that, so shout out Rich if you're if you're watching. Um, and he's loading the trailer for me for Banbury. Where was the other one? Milton Keynes. Yeah, Milton Keynes first and Banbury. So uh, yeah, so nearly tipped here. I can't even remember what time we got here to be honest. What time is it now? It's only, it's only 20 to 12. So like flying through today. I think I think it's about an hour, if that, to port me docks from here. Uh, we'll be out of here in 20 minutes, I reckon. Port me docks for one o'clock. Say we're there for an hour, two o'clock. Could be back in the yard for three o'clock. Lovely, lovely. I've said that now on a Friday that we're going to be in the yard for three o'clock. It's going to be like bloody six o'clock or something. Mark my words. <laughs> Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. It's everything that you need to know is in this book. Promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Right, we're tipped. I honestly got no recollection of what time we got here. But we've not been here that long. All right, let's put our next destination in. Portbury Docks. Just before we start moving. Don't. Please don't stop where you're going to stop. Don't stop there, mate. I need to get past. Please leave a gap. <laughs> Please leave a gap. Lovely, and then we shall use this area as a turning circle to do a little spin a rooney. Spin a rooney. Excellent. Just speaking to that bloke, he seems quite nice. Decent bloke. Lovely, jubbly. Say bye to the forklifter. Yeah, um, I think we've not been here that long. How long have we been here? I what we say on this. We, I think we've been here for about half an hour. About half an hour we've been here. So yeah, took half an hour to get loaded, half an hour to get tipped. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, um, ETA to Portbury Docks is one o'clock, like I thought it would be. Um, we could get messed about in Portby Docks, uh, or we could get in and out quite quickly. It's one of those one of those places that um, you never know. Normally, you're in and out in, in like two hours max. Same boat to him. Um, you'd be in there for at least an hour. 
So yeah, I reckon we'll leave between two and three o'clock, which means we should be back in the yard. I say four o'clock the latest. That's what I'm gonna say. And then just drop the trailer and uh, hitch up to my trailer, which is being loaded elsewhere. I'm not quite sure what trailer that it's on yet, mind. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, go home, edit this video. Tomorrow, I've got a very good friend of mine, known by many of you as Trucker Jenko. He's coming around my house tomorrow because I don't know whether he wants to make this uh, a known or make it an announcement, but let's just say he's coming to collect something of mine. And no, <laughs> no it's not the Type R. I wish it was. I wish I was selling that, but, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, in my last video, I got an update on the, on the Type R and they said it should be ready by the weekend. Turns out that's a load of crock because, can we get past this? Because there's a back order on cylinder blocks and uh, the earliest they can get it is the 22nd of April. Well, it's the 3rd of March right now, which means um, like another two months. Two months before they even get the part and they've already had the car for two months. So by the time, time I pick it up, they would have had it for four months. Four months. I don't often swear much in my videos, but four months. What the f Do you know what I mean? Sorry, I don't swear much. No more swearing. But come on. <laughs> four months. Wow. Anyway. Never mind. It's, it's tax for a year. I just had to pay 250 quid for tax. So, um, you know, I get that back. When I get the car back, I can get a refund. Can I go out this way? <laughs> for a split second, this looked like a path. Yeah, so when I get the car back and I sell it, I can uh, get a tax rebate. Is that what you call it? A tax refund? On any unspent months of tax? So, hopefully I get 200 quid back from that. And uh, he's still insured and whatnot. I just got to sell it. Just want the car gone. By the time I get the car back, I would have paid more off on the finance as well. Which means when I do sell it, um, it should, in theory, pay for the five and a half grand repair bill, which is uh, coming my way. Can't believe they've had it for four months. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna crack on to Portbury Docks. I'll just put myself in a downer. <laughs> um, I'll see you when we're at Portbury. Four months, man. Okay, we are at the docks. Oh, there's a couple of ships in as well. Are you going to open the, is this or Clitty Glead for me? Please. Come on. Hey. We're in. So last time I come here, I actually went to Forest Products. <laughs> we ended up being here for like two and a half hours and, and then the boss pulled me out because he was like, well, we're not waiting any longer. The, the load should be ready. It's not. And I had other stuff to go get loaded with. So yeah. We, uh, well, I got pulled out, basically. This is where we're getting loaded with this slate here. Ha! Oh, ha, oh, there's no trucks queuing up. Bang tidy. We could be in for an early finish. Don't say it, don't say it, Luke. But we could be in for an early finish on a Friday. They're doing so much construction work down here. A lot of Keedwell trucks parked up as well, or well, trailers at least. Lovely. We're going to turn right here. Yeah, we can make it before that truck. <laughs> right, we shall slow down a bit because... Uh, Trucks can come out of everywhere. Lovely. Let's give this thing a bit of room. Pop lift. Lovely, jubbly. Yeah, so we turn right down here and uh, 
the little port cabin that we uh, that we report to. See, it does say UECC left. But, you know, I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> we're going to go this way and we're going to park up here pretty much. I think that truck might be waiting to be loaded. Potentially. I'm just going to park up in front of these trailers so then people can get past me from behind. And uh, yeah, go see someone and hopefully we can be loaded very soon. So what you've just seen was a time lapse. Um, it's all happy, it's all jolly, it's music on top of the video. It's all done quite quick. And uh, you know, it, it's quick, it's not boring. But the reality is, I've got to spend a few minutes doing that. That's just taken me near enough 20 minutes to uh, do undo that, put all the straps on, do the curtains back up. So, and so I thought I'd like to educate my viewers what it's like to be a truck driver, um, what's involved. So I thought, I might upload that as a separate video, just just a typical strapping up session, so to speak. Uh, no music, no talking, just real life, what it's like, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Okay, that's it strapped up. It's 
gotta go get paperwork now. We've got some paperwork here, but it's not delivery notes or anything, so. We're going to uh, get that now. It's quite noisy here because of like construction and whatnot. Anyway, time now is 10 to two. So it's looking like we'll be back in the hour for three o'clock. That's nice for a Friday, man. Okay. We are loaded, we are strapped up, we have paperwork. Excellent. Right, so before I go, I do just need to mention that um, <laughs> I do have another sponsor now. <laughs> um, NTP, National Training Provider. So yeah, they provide um, Transport Manager CPC classes. And um, I say classes, it's uh, a good sort of six months worth of revision with like two exams. It's all on your on your phone, on your tablet, whatever you want to use. They have audio versions, which is what's really good for me. I'm listening to the audio version of the Transport Manager CPC as I'm driving. It's like listening to a radio. And at the aim, the, my aim is at the end of this process. It might take 12 months. Um, I'm setting my target for a year. Uh, hopefully, by the end of this year, it'd be nice. Um, hopefully, I will be fully qualified. Um, international and UK transport manager. That's the aim. Um, when I uh, eventually get my own truck and start my own haulage business, assuming that happens, then um, you have to have a registered transport manager on your O license. Now that can either be yourself, if you're an owner operator, or you can uh, essentially hire someone to be your transport manager. Um, no, I've got no problem whatsoever hiring someone but if I could be my own transport manager, it's more in-house, isn't it? So, yeah. So show, show them some love, basically. NTP, there is a link down in the description down below. And um, yeah, it's um, it's really good of them to uh, give me the, the ability to be able to do my uh, transport manager CPC. And I'm learning a lot of stuff in the way, in the process. So uh, this is what I was saying to my dad as well, I spoke to him. And, um, which, by the way, some people have been asking how he's getting on. He, he's, he's recovering, he's getting better. Um, yeah, you can tell he's getting better. But like I said to my dad, even if I, for whatever reason, don't do the exams, at least I'll learn something on the way. So, I'm just, just bettering myself, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I've always set out to do. Um, just better yourself in terms of knowledge and financial ability as well to provide for my family. That's my key, that's my aim. Always has been, always will be. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you very much for everyone who has watched. I do appreciate it. Uh, remember you can buy your own custom designed hoodies for myself. I'm, I'm wearing one now, but you can't see it. Let's get crack a lacking. Um, as well as many others. Um, the link is in the description down below. All custom designed by myself. Feel free to go check them out. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Fingers crossed we'll be in my own track next video. We will, we will see. Might not be, but we will see. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye-bye.